Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Have your way, Lord. Rain down. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Hallelujah. Hello, everyone. I tell you what. You know, the fire and the spirit of God is coming to hit you in a new way. Yes. Wow. Yes. I am prophesying that to you right now. The spirit and the fire of God are going to come and hit you in a new way. This is happening. It's coming to hit you in a new way. You just need to receive it. Yes, because God is doing something very powerful. And, and it begins with authority and power. Individually, in your life, in your body, in your ministry, in your family. Yes, he's doing something new. And this has been prophesied for such a time now, for, for even maybe a year or two or three Um or maybe even longer, but it's breaking forth. This new thing is pouring out. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I hope all is well with you. I hope that you've had an amazing day. I hope that you've allowed God to use you today. You know, I always say, might as well let God use me. I let people use me most of my life. And while it, it might be funny, it's true. It's just the truth. And um, we're put here on purpose, for a purpose. So the Lord had told me um, that I was going to release this word that he gave me. Uh, around the same time he gave me the other word. So I want to pray. And I want to just release this word. And um, yes, praise him. He is worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for your spirit. I thank you, Lord, for your anointing. I thank you, Jesus, for who you are, Lord, that you are the anointed one, that you are the son of God, that you are God in the flesh. And I thank you that you never leave us, that you never fail, that you're always right there, Lord, that you're raising up an army of mighty warriors that know you, Lord, that know you, Lord, that know you, Lord, and only want to know you more. Lord, give us more. Lord, there's always more. Give us more. Give us more, Lord. Give us more. Yes. And Jesus, I thank you for this. I thank you that you use me, Lord. I thank you that you use me, Lord. I thank you for giving me this word. I thank you that you trust me, Jesus. Yes, I thank you, Jesus. Or whatever it is you want to say to your people, Lord, here I am. Use me, but remove me. Remove my wretched flesh. Let it be your spirit and your spirit alone. Jesus. It says whatever you want to say to your people. Yes, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. And I thank you, Jesus. Yes, I thank you, Jesus, and your precious holy and mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. See, God's coming into your situation in a new way, you know, and it's looked the same for a long time, but he's going to come suddenly into your situation and he's going to blow your mind. And this word may not be for everybody, but this word is for somebody. God is about to give you a suddenly. We are embarking on a suddenly season where he's going to shift these things that you've been praying for for years. He's going to change their hearts. He's going to do these things that you've been asking him for. Maybe you've been asking so long, you forgot. You done forgot about it. But God doesn't forget. 
He remembers. He sees the derivative of the Lord, Jesus. Yes. He sees the diligence, the faithfulness. And, um, you know, the title of this word is nothing is holding you back. And I'm, I'm excited, you know, and that's the thing. I'm so excited not just to read this word because I don't know what it says. Um, but just for everything God is doing right now, he's literally waking his children. He is, he's, he's saying arise and shine. And, and that might mean something new for each of us, something different for each of us, but it's something to be excited about because there's nothing better than, than a life lived with Jesus, than a life lived where the King of glory just comes in and begins to move in and through you to do the work that he is destined to do. See, we're his hands and feet, right? You know, it's, it's very simple and we complicate it. And we're all guilty. I'm guilty, you know. But what God is doing in this hour is he's going to pour out. And I believe there's a dedicated people. There's a dedicated people and they just been... The warfare has been so heavy for years, years. But here's the thing. The anointing is costly. To be anointed by God is, is something that is painful. It is, it is free to be saved, right? Salvation is free, but to be anointed, to be used by God, it is costly, right? So we have a decision, you know, so many times every day, okay, is this really what I want? Do I really want to serve God? But then the benefits of the peace and the joy and the hope, it just outweighs it all. We're embarking on a time where it's like we're going to surpass that place, you know, where it won't just be mundane and the same warfare and you don't feel like you're getting anywhere because suddenly things are going to shift and things are going to change. Thank you, Jesus. So this is the name of the word. Nothing is holding you back. My child, those things have turned out to work for my glory. Those things you have been so ashamed of in your life has been predestined to work out for the good of many. Those traumas, hurts, and even mistakes show others my power as you have become a walking testimony. In you, it is quite evident I exist. <laughs> oh, Jesus. See, he wants us to be the proof that he's real. <laughs> Amen. In you, my power and love have become obvious. You see, without a test, there is no testimony. Wow. What I want you to see and understand is that I know the end from the beginning. And I was aware of your mistakes before they were ever made. I am outside of time. I have known you even before you knew me. I have set you up for greatness in my kingdom. The light, my light is so obviously real that even stone cold religious people see something different in you. See, I use you to draw them in, but I need you to understand a huge part of it is your previous mistakes. When they hear your testimony and where you have been, they pay attention. When they continue in observation, they are drawn into me as they see my grace. They say, well, if they can be forgiven, I can certainly be forgiven. <sighs> All those things have turned around to be a tool I use to draw even the non-believers in. You must understand you have been positioned for greatness from the foundations of the world. They will come to me because of all of your previous mistakes. They will witness my graceful, loving power through how dedicated you are to me. You are moving into a new era of truly seeing that there is nothing holding you back. Hallelujah. 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 There is so much to look forward to.
Great things are on the verge of happening for you soon. Things you could have never dreamed of nor imagined. You have been secretly so very dedicated to me and you have allowed me to shape you, prune you. You have submitted everything to me, no matter the pain. You have chosen obedience. Do you think I have allowed you to go through all you have been through for no reason? <laughs> no, it is quite opposite. I knew from the foundations of the world that I would use your mistakes and heartbreaks, trauma, and even the abuse you went through for my glory. Your story does not hold you back. It catapults you forward. Because of the complete transformation you have allowed me to do on the inside of you, the new creation has come. Hallelujah. But you must let go of all the trauma of the old. I am bringing a new boldness to your ministry and life because you say yes. Because you hearken to the sound of my voice, I am going to use you in ways you could never even dream of. You have always known you were different. You knew life had been unkind to you, and you never quite understood why. You continue so many hardships and situations but you must see these things are your purpose your identity has been forged through these fiery trials and you would not be able to help all these people if you had not been through all you have been through and done all you have done see i have worked it all out for your good but not only your good but for the good of those who love me and are called according to my purpose. Now run forth, Jesus. That's the word. Now run forth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Recognize it has all been a blessing in disguise because as the world looks at success in the form of bank accounts and titles, you know what true riches are and you are building them up. You see, you cannot take anything with you when you go, but you can take souls. <laughs> so while so many are building a kingdom here and maybe even misunderstanding you, you have chosen that better thing and much fruit is ripe and ready for the picking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am pouring it out on you for all to see so they would be drawn to me. Nothing has been wasted. Walk in my freedom. Know without a shadow of a doubt you have been forgiven. And I am on your side. There is no need to feel guilty or condemn yourself. Stop. Wow. There is no condemnation in Christ. Do not worry about what others say, do, or think. When I say move, go. Move. Do as I tell you to do. Say what I tell you to say. Don't worry what others may think or say about you doing what I tell you to do. You are accountable to me and me alone. The opinions of man is a snare. They will never know or understand you like I do. This is why I have commanded judge not because I am the just judge. Don't look around. Just listen. I am bringing you into a place of deep blessing. Just stay steady. Praise me for your testimony, for I will use you to harvest the nations. It's a time where God is really pressing down in a new way. And if you say yes, your yes is going to be multiplied. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In other words, when you say yes once, it's going to multiply in the spirit. And God's going to take that one yes and he's going to just do, do many mighty things and open doors and use you even more just with one little yes. It is not a time to, to 
to shrink back. It is not a time to be pushed back by Satan. It is not a time to be afraid of what you don't know or be afraid of what might happen or be afraid of, you know, um, being rejected or be afraid. It's not time to cower down. It's time to push forward. <clears throat> yes, Lord. I am almost done. So, Mark 10. Assuredly, 10 and 29, assuredly, I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. What does that mean? It means that those who have given it all up, you know, who have decided they would, even if God didn't um, ask them to, but they said, if you, you know, if you want this, yes, those who put God first, those who put themselves last, those who are willing to say, well, you know, if, if even, you know, my mother, my father, my children, whoever doesn't understand this walk, so be, I got to go with Jesus. I got to do what God's calling me to do. I got to run forth. You know, those who are servants are the greatest. And this is really a time where things are being multiplied. Things that have been delayed and held back. And now God says, there's nothing holding you back. And often we hold ourselves back you know god wants to do these things but he's just waiting on us for something you know i think it's different maybe for everyone but there's maybe something god's told you to do or not to do and yet you do it or you don't you know and it's we can be our worst enemy you know but god is saying okay i've given you the power to overcome i've given you you know the the steady um quickening and the and the you know the mind frame and the strength to go forward. And now you're going to see suddenly all these things that you've been waiting for. And what are these things? The people. It's peace. It's joy. It's hope. You know, whatever it is that you really need to go forth in your calling, to go forth in what uh, you need to do for the kingdom of God. And we all have assignments, you know, and um, your assignment might be different than my assignment, but we all are here on purpose for a purpose to glorify God through what we do in the earth every day. And it could be simple things in every way, in every way, in every way. But your yes is being multiplied. I hear that. Your yes is being multiplied. Your yes is being multiplied. Wow, yeah, it's really a time of multiplication. That just hit my spirit. I just wanted to release this word. I know it's for someone. I believe it's for it's for many. I believe that um that God just has a way of doing things where he kills multiple birds with one stone, right? As the saying goes. You know, he blesses more than one person at a time. He's just he's God. He's all knowing. You know, he is amazing. He is amazing. Thank you, Jesus. You know, just his presence. You know, just his presence is the blessing. Just having him right here is the blessing, but he's willing to give more. <laughs> That's the time that many of you are in the more, you know, the go forward. And it is definitely not a time to shrink back or... Be afraid of the unknown, you know, um, do what God's telling you to do and don't be afraid of their face. Don't be afraid of what you see. Don't worry about the lies of the enemy. Don't worry about how they're plotting and they're, they're sowing discord and this and that, because God has a way of turning it all around. We just have to be still. He fights for us. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I love you all. I pray this bless someone. Just 
focus on Jesus. Stay in your word. You know, he is the word. Get to know him even more. It's my prayer for all of you, for me, for all oh, that's freedom, that's joy, that's peace. Be blessed. Thank you, Jesus.